News every 15 minutes, weather every 10, and sports twice an hour. News Talk KGVO, AM 1290 and 98.3 FM. You're listening to Montana Morning with Peter Christian. Charges of strangulation and attempting to gouge a woman's eyes out. Good morning, everyone. Montana Morning, it's uh, Wednesday, April 5th, 2017, starts now. Right now it's cloudy, 34 degrees in Missoula. Newscast this morning, sponsored by Selway Armory on Stockyard Road. They've got more guns and ammo than anyone in Missoula. Best prices available in Montana, Montana's premier firearms dealer. One of our top stories this morning, 42-year-old Mark Lane has been charged with felony aggravated assault after allegedly strangling his girlfriend several times and then trying to gouge her eyes out with his thumbs. Deputy Missoula County Attorney Mark Handelman asked Judge Landy Holloway for $50,000 bond due to the extremely violent nature of his attacks on his girlfriend, who is significantly smaller than the defendant, who stands over 6'4 and weighs 240 pounds. The defendant's appearing on charges of aggravated assault in the PFMA for strangling a victim multiple times, causing her to believe she was going to die, and requiring roommates to pull the defendant off of the victim. And the PFMA is for the defendant attempting to gouge out the victim's eyes with his thumbs, leaving injury to the victim's left eye socket. Handelman could continued his bond argument before Judge Holloway. After the incident, the defendant placed four phone calls from the jail to his cell phone, threatening the roommates with eviction for not covering for him. The victim and both roommates have obtained temporary orders of protection in this case against the defendant. The defendant admits to having previous PFMA on his record. Judge Holloway set bond at $50,000 and ordered Lane to reappear April 18th. Missoula police are investigating security footage, hoping to find evidence that two missing girls were in Missoula on Monday. Missoula Police Public Information Officer Travis Welsh says a local store clerk called in a report after recognizing one of the girls on a missing persons poster. We were notified that a young lady from the Malta area in Phillips County may have been seen in Missoula by an employee of a local department store. The information we have, the young lady left home with some other individuals earlier in the week. The concerning thing is that the young lady is 12 years old. Girls are thought to be traveling in a silver or white four-door passenger car with three to four males. Wells describes the missing 12-year-old girl. A uh, white female, five foot three, about 100 pounds. She has green eyes and red hair, and she wears glasses. Her name is Aiden The 14-year-old girl was reported missing from Cascade County. Uh, Her name is Storm St. Germain. She's 14 years of age. She is a Native American female, about 5 feet 8, 125 pounds, hazel eyes, and brown hair. Two of the males in the vehicle have been identified as Austin Adams and James White. The girls may be using pseudonyms. They're thought to be driving to Spokane. Around 200 students, faculty, and concerned community members were out near the University of Montana Oval yesterday protesting an expected slight increase in tuition. Professor Mirdad Kia spoke out against the expected increase. Increasing student tuition simply means shooting ourselves in the foot. As Vice President Crady has said it himself, we have to keep this tuition where it is. And if you do decide, to increase the tuition, we have to supplement it with special financial assistance to our students so they can afford coming to the university. Student Hannah Gale was out protesting early and explains why groups like Forward Montana, Montana Democrats, and Students for Peace and Justice were gathered there. They're here for education to get the word out about uh, the things they're working on as well as supporting us with our endeavors. Fund education and just mobilize people and bring in people who might not be here otherwise. We're just looking for student voice. These are policies that will be affecting us directly, so we're trying to bring attention to the issue. Montana Senate Majority Leader Fred Thomas explained how a decrease in natural resource revenues was weighing on budgeting decisions across the board. We've hit a flat spot in revenue for the last two to three years. With revenue down, we have to reduce expenditures or keep them flat. With the university system, we were able to reduce the increase anticipated on tuition from a double-digit number down to about 9.7%. We're not happy that it's going up 9%, but it's less than we were looking at a couple of months ago. When compared to the budget passed last biennium, the current proposed budget as an overall decrease to the Montana University system was only 0.62%. That's less than 1%. The regents will have to 
have the final say on how to deal with the tight budget, whether the cost will be paid for with higher tuition or a reduction in services. The Montana legislature is also advancing a bill that would extend safeguards against youth concussions to private schools and sports associations. State lawmakers passed a bill in 2013 requiring student-athletes in public schools to be removed from play after showing signs of having a concussion. The measure the state Senate endorsed yesterday on a vote of 50 to nothing would require youth leagues and non-public schools to also establish protocols for an athlete's return to play after suffering a concussion. Republican Senator Daniel Salomon of Ronan said the bill would take pressure off coaches to put athletes who may have suffered concussions back into competitive games. The bill must pass a final vote in the Senate, and the House must agree to the Senate's changes before the measure goes to Governor Bullock. Environmental and animal welfare groups have filed a lawsuit claiming the U.S. government is violating the Endangered Species Act by allowing the use of two predator-killing poisons. The lawsuit filed yesterday in federal court in Montana by the Center for Biological Diversity and other groups seeks an immediate ban of the poisons where they could harm federally protected species, including grizzly bears. One device placed in the ground sprays cyanide when triggered by animals. An Idaho boy was injured last month when he checked out one with his dog on federally owned land. The dog died. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is also named in that lawsuit. After many years of negotiations with the Montana State Insurance Commissioner, the Christian Health Care Cost Sharing Ministry called MediShare was made available to Montanans. Commissioner of Securities and Insurance Matt Rosendale made the announcement on Monday. We are absolutely thrilled to be able to announce today that, that MediShare is now functioning in Montana and that folks will have yet another alternative to address their health care needs that, that is not dependent upon traditional insurance. Rosendale said the company recently revised their operation to comply with Montana laws. Now they've changed that all around so that the funds are basically deposited in your own account and everyone that is participating in this agreement Uh, has their own account, and that if you submit a medical bill, that the rest of the members have the ability to contribute to that bill and help you accommodate it. According to the Christian Care Ministry website, those who join the MediShare program must have, quote, a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, and quote, attest that they do not smoke or use any illegal drugs. They must also affirm, quote, they do not have sexual relationships outside the realm of a biblical Christian marriage, end quote. Our news talk time now is 612. News Talk, KGVO. Missoula's official weather station. Mostly cloudy skies today with a slight chance of a shower. Daytime highs will be in the upper 50s. Tonight, mostly cloudy with our lows in the upper 30s. Thursday will be the warmest day so far this year with our high temperatures in the low 60s. I'm meteorologist Brooke Foster for KECI 13.